Um, I like the diversity, which is a, uh, kind of the easy way out, I feel like, with that question. Uh, so I get to work with lots of different populations from people who are immediately post-surgery to uh, at the highest level of performance shooting for Olympic gold uh, and everyone in between. And, uh, and I get to help those people achieve whatever their next physical goal might be. You know, the diversity is another good answer because I, uh, I, I do, I'm doing what I did to myself uh, before I was a physiotherapist, which was uh, to kind of stretch out and do multiple different things. And so I'm, I'm, I'm on the road a little bit, but more than anything, I'm, I'm hopping around from job to job and, and uh, uh, keeping all my ducks in a row is, is maybe the hardest part of, of that. Sure, specifically about what I do, one of, uh, one of my roles becomes um, to be just part of a support team uh, for our athletes. Uh, and in that regard, I, I get to do a little bit of whatever is required of me, especially if we're away on a, on a camp or a trip or at a, at a competition. So, so the physio becomes the massage therapist or becomes the um, psychologist or becomes the uh, whatever else they need to be when they're doing that. I spent, if you'd asked me in university, when I was at UVEC here up until about 2000, or up until 2002, uh, if I would become a physiotherapist, I would have uh, said no. I didn't think that was going to happen. My mother is actually a physiotherapist. She worked in, um, in neuro in a hospital, so it's quite different from what I do. But, but I grew up thinking there's no way I was going to end up in, in therapy or in any sort of rehab. So, so, um, so I, I flipped a switch at some point. Uh, and I think it was realizing that uh, in the work that I was doing, which was more um, strength and conditioning based, that, that I needed, I needed uh, more, I wanted more. I, uh, I wanted to broaden my skill set, so, so uh, physio it was. Yeah, yeah. I've always been an anatomy fan, and when I went uh, going to UVic, uh, that was my first taste of it, and then going back to, to physio school and, and spending more time in that. Uh, I was, I think, I had to be by far my favorite, and then I, uh, I enjoyed a lot of the, the physiology and uh, kind of human-based sciences, as opposed to some of the other stuff that I felt like I just had to take to finish off the degree. But uh, the human-based stuff, and I see now that there are a lot more courses that didn't even exist when I was there. So, had you asked me, uh, or had I been a student a few years later, I might have told you uh, functional anatomy or or um, nutrition or, or something a bit different that I didn't get to take. But, um, but anatomy is my, my, uh, my favorite for sure. You know, there are uh, several, I think maybe two co-op jobs that I actually still have on my resume 14 years later. Uh, so I guess that speaks to how, what usefulness I got out of them. They were, they were very different from the things I do now, and some of the co-op jobs I had were very similar to the things I had now. So, so the ones that were different gave me a taste of what else might be out there, and the ones that were similar just gave me practice at what I, at what I do now, and, and uh, gave me a taste of that, I guess, so I could, uh, I could make a, an educated decision. I, I went to physio school with people who had never actually been to a physiotherapist before, and that shocked me. So, so I had had much more experience with that than, than some people at least. You know, my best advice, and I know I sound like my, my dad was thinking this on the way here, I sound like my parents when I say this. Uh, my best advice is I was, uh, I was a bit of a dummy in, uh, in my last few years of university and, and kind of didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't work hard enough. I didn't keep my GPA up like I should have. And it made it a lot harder for me, for, harder for me to, uh, to, to do any postgraduate education. So I, I didn't give myself the options that I should have given myself, that I could have given myself had I just worked a bit harder on it. So, so GPA is, you know, working consistently to keep that, uh, the marks up is, is 
kind of a cliche answer, but I think I feel like it's the, the if anyone would listen to that, it's, it's my best piece of advice for anyone here.